Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 76. Thank you for joining me again. We're just outside of, uh, I believe, Appalachia Antiques over there. We explored that place in the last episode. Uh, this episode, I want to start off uh, doing what I started off doing in the last episode. And that's looking at our map and uh, seeing if there's anybody selling weapons at their camp. And if they are, ooh, this guy's selling 15 weapons. If they are, let's travel to their camp and... Um, Okay, I'm over encumbered. Uh, and um, see if um, they have any uh, weapons that I'm interested in. I'm just a little bit over encumbered. So I'm just going to see if I can't drop something um, heavy that I really don't need. Uh, let me see. Wait. Uh, well, that's some interesting stuff I've got here. This combat shotgun. Um, golly, what should I drop? I'm going to drop this. Drop this Western revolver. I don't need that. Okay, now back to my map, and I should be able to fast travel. I'm really eager to get over here and see what 15 weapons this guy is selling. I'm hoping to find a furious automatic weapon because I believe that will be the best automatic type weapon for me. I already have an instigating sniper weapon. So for my uh, automatic weapon for like close up, um, battles such as we saw in vault 94 um i need i need a close-up weapon and i think that uh, this furious thing is what i am looking for wow look at this guy's place he's got a nice floor here it's so clean it's like a cool guy's garage you know somebody who works on cars let's see what's in this vending machine snipper 69er he's selling some interesting stuff anti-armor all right game anti-armor assault rifle Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, Vat's critical shots do plus 50% damage. That's just critical, though. Critical, critical. I don't care about critical stuff. I probably should, but I don't. Um, gamma gun, assassin's mini gun. That's for playing against players. I don't care about that. Um, this is an auto stim. I don't know if I want to automatically use my stim pack when I get to 25 or less. I don't know. Golly, this guy does have a lot of stuff. Bloodied M79 grenade launcher. Uh, that's this is for like does more damage lower my health is I don't play like that and a furious assault rifle hmm damage increased after each consecutive hit on the same target this is kind of what I'm looking for except this is just a one star and if I'm gonna get a legendary weapon I would rather have multiple stars so I'm actually gonna pass on this one you guys let me know what you think about those these these choices in the comments um, not that it'll make any difference, because it's not like I'm going to be able to run back and get this thing, because what are the odds that I sign into a ser server with Snipper 69er on it again, and uh, what are the odds that he'd still have this weapon? I don't know. And then we got some mutant crap, who cares? Um, that's for... Okay, if I mutated. And then troubleshooters, and then a two-shot, which some people have suggested this too. Two-shot shoots an additional projectile, but this is just a one-star, so... Um, great weaponry here. Look at this bizarre thing. It does extra damage versus scorched. Again, I just... Who, who, who uses these weapons? I mean, do you have a bunch of weapons in your inventory? Oh, I'm fighting scorched. Let me get out my scorched weapon. Oh, I'm fighting mutants or super mutants. Let me get out my super mutant shovel. It just doesn't seem feasible. That was a lot of weapons that guy had there. A lot. Over here, he's got some bobbleheads that I don't care about, and um, some other serums, and uh, eh, just, you know, who cares? Speed Demon Serum. Uh, that one might be fun. Um, God, he's got 23 of these things. Wow. Uh, I already got the Marsupial Serum, so maybe I'll get that at some point. The fact that he has so many of them makes me think they're probably easy to get. In this machine, he's got a little bit of ammo, Raider uh, Power Armor, internal database, whatever that means. Um, he's got some uh, T60 stuff. So here I am thinking that I should have um, T60 stuff, but somebody recently left me a comment and said I should be looking for the X01 armor instead. I don't know, man. Um, and now, let's see here. Increases strength. I don't remember 
what it was that I was supposed to get with the T60 ammo that somebody suggested. And unfortunately, um, calibrated shocks. That's what I wanted. Calibrated shocks. And it doesn't look like this guy has calibrated, sh calibrated shocks. So I don't think I'll be buying anything from him. Although I am interested in these headlamps. I don't think that I have a headlamp for my T60, but I could, I could use a different headlamp for my T60, couldn't I? I don't know. Let's, oh, I don't have my T60 with me. But, is there a stash in here that I can use to get to my stuff? There should be a stash for my stuff, shouldn't there? Um, a locked door. Well, I learned my lesson there. I'm not going to be going through that. Security gate. Makes, whoa, look how high up that goes. Interesting. Check this out. Look what this guy's built here. Little bench for, you know, when you're tired climbing the stairs. <laughs> that is pretty neat. <laughs> pretty cool, dude. I dig it. Um, oh, I s well, where the heck is his stash? I was gonna, I was gonna look in the stash, pull out my T60 and take a quick look at it. Um, here we go. My stash. Uh, T60 armor. Yes, yes, I'm over encumbered. Okay, so if I go in here and I get out my T60, right? So see, I have no, uh, okay, I have no lamp for it, right? But my excavator armor, I do have a lamp for it. I think. Well, I thought I did. Well, I don't see one there. Maybe this thing has it built in, because I th I thought that I had a lamp. Hmm. Okay, what do I know? Anyway. Collect, please. There we go. Um, so, I... Well, I guess I could have entered it to see if it did have a lamp. I don't think this power armor has a lamp. It does have a lamp. Oh, what the hell do I know? I don't know, man. Don't mind me. Damn it. Okay, well, now the game's screwed up. <sighs> so, it does this thing where when you get out of your power armor, uh, I can't switch back to first person mode. And you can see my power armor's still there. I, I don't know if it's going to go back into my inventory or not. Um, freaking annoying. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, whoa, okay. So, you see, I can't... I can't interact with this stuff. Because... Golly, there are so many stupid glitches in this game. Freaking annoying. I don't I don't know if there's anything I could do. And I, I really don't want to exit the game and come back in. Because that's a pain in the ass, too. You, if you play this game, you know how long it takes for this game to load. And also, I'm worried that I'm going to lose my armor. It's just sitting here. So I don't know whether my armor is going to come back. I can't interact with any of this stuff. Freaking annoying, man. Um, I mean, I don't know if fast traveling fixes anything or not. But I'm going to fast travel nearby. See if that resets anything. Um, and did it. Doesn't look like it did. And look, I don't even have my compass at the bottom of the screen anymore. I tell you what, man. Well, my power, at least my power armor was recalled to my inventory, so at least I don't have to worry about that. But um, I'm stuck in third person mode. Um, I don't even think I could use, well, I can use weapons. Okay, all right. Calm down, dude. So I don't. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, so fast traveling doesn't fix it, and I can't interact with anything. Can't interact with crap, man. What a bunch of crap. Well, um, 
yeah, I guess that I'll have to uh, exit out of here. Um, one thing I am curious about. Let me try. Let me just try something else here. Uh, let me fast travel back to my camp. Oh, good lord. How, how, I'm over encumbered because now I have my T60 armor on me. So, um, where's this guy's camp? Where is it? It's kind of behind me. I'm gonna try to go to this guy. Well, never mind. I was gonna. I was gonna say I was gonna go to this guy's camp and um, use his bench, but I can't interact with anything. So I can't interact with anything. So. Yeah. Whatever. Um. Can't I can't. All right. Well. Yeah. Fine. Let me exit the game and come back in. All right. So I'm back in the game now, and uh, <laughs> I bring up my map, and that guy's uh, camp is gone because. Well, he's not on this server, apparently, so I can't run back over to the guy's camp anyway. Which I guess is fine, I guess, except that now I am super over-encumbered. Um, I guess... You know, one thing I actually didn't think of doing just before I restarted the game was I didn't even think of getting back into my armor. I guess I could have done that. Um, it would have at least allowed me to fast travel. And who knows, maybe it would have fixed the problem. The problem is now is that, that I'm getting into this freaking armor. And when I exit it again, the game might screw up again. But anyway, I'm gonna get in it. Um, I gotta take out this freaking blood bug here. And uh, I'm gonna bring up my map. And let's see other people. There's somebody way down here. He's got one uh, weapon for sale. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. He's got seven. He has one. I don't like that his camp is in that water, though. This guy has 46? Let's go here. 46 weapons for sale? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, he's gotta have something good, right? We'll see. We shall see. Um, like I said, somebody else, or maybe more than one person, has also um, suggested uh, two-shot. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, la la la, I am here. Is that his camp right there? I want to get out of this power armor. This may be a mistake, though. You know what? I'm not going to get out of the power armor. I'm too afraid that it'll screw up the game and then I won't be able to look at his 46 weapons. And I really want to look at his 46 weapons. Uh, but I am going to go in here and I'm going to stash my T60. Okay. All right, dude, what do you got for sale? I like your stars. <laughs> he's got a chair up on top of this lion's head. Whoa, what weird. Okay, so he's got the machine set up this way. It works, it's interesting. Okay, trust me, I'm Jesus. What do you got for sale, man? Oh boy, this stuff looks expensive. Um, First of all, does he have any furious stuff? He has, well, yeah. can't say I'm too excited about a furious pipe revolver. Bullets explode for area damage, damage increased after each consecutive hit on the same target, and plus one agility. This is not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a power fist. fist. Here is a machine gun. This is a two-star one, and he is asking a lot for this, I feel like. Maybe he's not. I don't know. What do I know? Um, this thing has a faster fire rate, but it's just... It also shoots 45 ammo, uh, which is interesting. Um... Let me look at the weapons I'm currently using. Huh. Um. Okay, so this one, yeah, see, I don't want both of my weapons to use 45 ammo. I would rather them use different types of ammo. Because then if I run out, well, then I'm screwed. You know, I can't shoot anything. I did not notice that this was an armor-piercing weapon. I didn't even notice that. Anyway, um, so yeah, this guy, I can't say that I'm too excited about that furious weapon. Uh, he has some anti-armor stuff that some people have suggested, but again, none of it is automatic. Um, so I don't think I want any of that either. 
Let's see what he's got in this vending machine. Okay, we've got, um... Yeah, some armor in this one. Quite a bit of armor. Quite a bit of armor. Holy cow, man. Look at all this stuff this guy's got. I only have 11,000 caps. I'm not going to be able to buy all this stuff, but wow, this is some really good stuff here. This is for against players. Auto stim, I don't think. Bolstering. Oh, that's for like when I have low health. Chameleon. Yeah, cloaking. I haven't even been thinking about armor, but I mean, you know, I should probably be looking into some um, armor as well. But that's, that's, I haven't even thought about armor. I'm just thinking about weaponry. Fear, eh, doggone it, it's a stupid pipe revolver here. Um, it's interesting though, but see, this thing also shoots 45 ammo, doggone it. Um, I mean, I guess I could mod it so that it uses different ammo, but it's just, it just, I mean, it does 100 damage, which is a lot. So, 90% reduced weight, which is nice, but how heavy could a freaking revolver really be? I don't know. And then plus 33% VATS hit chance, that's kind of cool. I don't know, man, I'm just not real excited about it. And then I'm looking to see if he has two shot, anything two shot down here. He doesn't. So this is this is interesting. But I don't know. Fire rate is only six. It's not very fast. Man, I just don't I just don't know. And then over here he's got a bunch of plants. He has a furious handmaid. Look at this. Ooh. Okay. This is interesting. Uh it's only level twenty five though. Um so that makes me not want it. I don't, I don't think I want just a plane on tw level 25. It's something else that I need to keep in mind. This one over here, I mean, is level 50. Golly, man. Again, it uses the same ammo. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go for this one because it's only level 25. And I don't think I can mod it to make it a higher level because you can't mod something and make it a higher level right you actually have to rebuild it and I would not be able to build this thing right you guys let me know if I'm thinking this thinking right or not let's get some plans here um two shot black powder rifle two shot prime combat shotgun Whew, man this thing Oh, this thing shoots ultra sight shells. I don't even have any of those, so I don't want that. Boy, this guy. He has a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff. I don't know. I, I, I just did, I didn't want a pipe revolver. <laughs> I just didn't. This isn't what I wanted. Um, But it is level 50. It does a lot of damage per hit. But the fire rate is so, so low. Six... Compared to, like, the sphere is handmade. 40. But, I mean, I could modify this thing and put a different, um... Thingy on it. <laughs> what do you call the thing that gives you a greater fire rate? What's that called? So... Oh, doggone. I can't do anything when I'm in my power armor. I can't modify. So... Now I'm in this weird situation where I'm afraid to get out of my power armor because I'm afraid it'll screw me up again. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to leave here yet because I'm still not 100% sure I don't want these weapons. Do I want this weapon? Oh, I really could use your all's advice right now. Uh, Furious Hardened. Damage 100 per shot. This thing does 68 per shot. I mean, I will say that... I mean, plus 33% VATS hit chance is kind of nice, right? I don't really care about the reduced weight, which seems weird that I would say that, considering I'm always over-encumbered, but... I mean, I would kind of rather it be something better than that. Um... 
Man, I wish I knew for sure whether I could increase its fire rate. Um, I'm gonna step out of this power armor. We'll see what happens. Oh, this is looking good. I think we're okay. Okay. Pick that up. Hello. Collect. Thank you. So. So if I got that weapon, we'll play with this one. This one here, it would be... Um, which one makes it shoot faster? Which one increases its fire rate? I don't even know. Not any of those. Not the magazine. Oh, whoops. Um, is it the receiver? Yes, the receiver. Gives you more of a fire rate. So, what was the receiver on this thing? This thing has... Well, we don't know. Inspect. That has a hardened receiver. I want a hardened receiver because that does the most damage. Right? Automatic. Oh! Wait a minute. That's not even an automatic weapon. <laughs> this isn't an automatic weapon. Okay, this... Okay. It's not an automatic weapon. Boy, did you see that big light bulb go off over, over top of my head just then? This is not even an automatic weapon. So... Um... So, if I were to... Change it to an automatic... It would do less damage. See, this thing does 37 with a hardened. But if I change it to, like, an automatic... Well, it only goes down to 27. I don't know, man. Kind of thinking maybe I'll just go ahead and buy it. It's only 4,500 caps. I could recoup that real quick, right? Right? Um, I like the plus 33 vats hit chance, but I don't really care too much about the 90% reduced rate. Wait. You know? Ah, screw it. I bought it. You guys let me know what you think. It's just, um, it's just caps. So now I want to modify this thing to turn it into an automatic weapon. So, I'm going to... Take this guy. We're going to change it from hardened receiver to... Man, I didn't even consider... Oh, man. I can't even put an automatic receiver on this thing. Damn it. Well, how was I supposed to know that? I can't... Well, this isn't what I wanted at all. Now I'm sad. This isn't what I wanted at all. I can't put an automatic receiver on this. Is it because this type of weapon can't be automatic? Or is it because I just haven't unlocked it? I don't think it's because I haven't unlocked it. Because holy hell, look at how much stuff I've unlocked. Hardened receiver gives me 100. Nothing else gives me... There's a couple that give me 90. And increase the fire rate a little tiny bit. Doggone it. Well, I think I just wasted a bunch of uh, caps. I think I did. Oh, well. Live and learn. Live and learn. So, I mean... Uh, no set prices. I don't know what that means. Um, I guess what you would have gone online, you guys, if you didn't know the answer to that? I mean, is, is that what I should be doing? I should be going online and looking for this stuff? I guess. I guess. Let me scrap some stuff. I'm way over encumbered. I'm sad. I'm pretty bummed out, man. Pretty bummed out. I ain't even kidding. I feel stupid now, too. But, I, I mean, how am I supposed to know? I don't know. I don't know these things. Store my junk. So now I'm walking around with 
this damn thing, or this thing, which I mean, it does a lot of damage per shot, but it only has a fire rate of six, whereas this thing, golly, look how much damage it does. But that's my um, sniper rifle. This thing has a fire rate of 75, but it this is a way better weapon than this. Way better. Well, I guess I'll just take this back to my camp and try to sell it. I guess. And hope somebody buys it. Um, because I don't want it. Right? I don't want this thing. I don't want it. It's not what I want. Not what I'm looking for. Um, yeah. It'll be a couple days before this video gets posted. I was going to say, you guys let me know if you want if you want to watch me go around to other camps searching for weaponry. I don't know if that's something you want to watch me do. Or if it's something you would prefer I did off camera. I don't know. Sell. Weapons. Uh, this thing, I'm going to put it up for sale. Look at this thing. It says it's just 78? What? I'm going to try to sell it for 5,000. See if I can make a profit on it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, there we go, it's up for sale. All right, well, one thing that I can do is I can go into here, and I can go into here, and I can, um, let's see, what do I wanna do? Choose a perk card or transfer a point. Okay, this is, this is another thing that I don't understand. What I wanna do is I have these commando cards, and I could put three stars on it, right? How, I guess I need another expert commando card to match with this. Is that what I need to do? Is that right? I think that's what I need to do. So in that case, I need to pick a new card. Is that right? I hope I'm doing this right. Hello, choose. So I want uh, another commando. And does it matter whether I get expert commando or commando? Does it matter? Ooh, master commando? I don't know, man. I'm going to get this card. Okay, I accepted it. Okay, now I'm going to rank them up. Okay. And now I'm going to do that again. Another... How come it only says I have one? I have two of these now. What are you talking about? Do I need to go all the way back out of here? Go in here. Um, what the hell's going on? What did I just do? Where's my, um... Did I just do that? What the hell did I do? I thought I, I thought I picked a, um... Here it is, Expert Commander, right here. Okay, here it is. Well, it's, it's telling me I only have one unused point. Why didn't it give me another point there? I got a new card. I don't know. So I, I don't get I don't get a point anymore. I don't get any more points. Is that what's going on here? Because before when I get a new card, I'd also get a point, but I don't get a point anymore. Take pick lock off. Put this on. And now I should do more damage with my automatic weapon. Golly. I I, I do not feel bad about finding this confusing because I, it is confusing as crap. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I guess I don't get any more points. Is that right? I, I'm maxed out on points. I can't get any more points. So I can choose a perk card, right? And I can choose another commando card, correct? Is that right? So I can go here to expert command. Why is it telling me I only have one? I have two of these. So I do this, and I rank it up to level three. Okay, and what I've come back out here, and now it's telling me I have me I have two unused points, which sucks because this needs three points. So I do need to go back in here, level up, move one of my points, uh, select a special to yeah max special points reached. Okay. Select a special to swap a point. Move point to selected special. 
It is perception, right? <laughs> I'm going to make sure. Perception. Yes. Perception. <laughs> Okay, charisma to perception. Okay, I did it. All right, so now I go back in here. I have three unused points. I put expert commando on it. There we go. Okay, all right, okay. I still have an unused point in agility and an unused point in luck as well, which is interesting. Uh, and also, I just now noticed, Callie, you guys, I'm sure you noticed this a long time ago, uh, I've been walking around with Ammo Smith on me, which I absolutely do not need to do. Instead, I should be walking around with um, one of these. These two Ammo Smiths. Oh, okay. You can't you can't get three stars on Ammo Smith. Um, three unused points. I think I like Action Boy. I think I like having my action points uh, regenerate quicker. I think I like that. And then Luck, I have an unused point. Um... I mean, get twice as much when harvesting wood. I don't care about that anymore. Starch jeans. While below 30% health, gain a 15% chance to avoid damage. That's pretty cool, right? Perk card already equipped. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, then, why can't I rank it up? Rank it up. Right? I don't know. Do I want to do that? Do I want to use up my... My, uh, slot for this? Fine. Okay. All right, boy, the excitement. Hoo-wee, hoo-wee. Well, all I can do is hope that somebody will buy that stupid weapon that I now hate. I hate that weapon. Hate it. Drink a little bit of water. Well, what do you say we do something in this episode, huh? <laughs> Let's do something. Let's go somewhere. Let's go see something. Let's do that. Uh, I could go over here to Firebase Major since it's really close by. I could go up here to Sassy Mama's camp and um, see if she has anything that I want to buy. Since it's right here, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that, man. Let's go over here. Ooh, did you see that? Gotta give me some blackberries. Very exciting. Sassy Mama's camp is way up there, unfortunately. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up there from down here. Hey, Sassy Mama. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look how it hangs over. I'm not gonna be able to get up there from down here, doggone it. Whoa, I gotta go check this out. Let's see here. Let's get up there, man. Let's check it out. Uh, come on now. Give me a way up, game. Here we go. This is looking promising. I'm coming for you, Sassy Mama. I'm coming for you. Sassy Mama is talking. I can't hear her, though. Um, Glowing Wolf. Hey, Sassy Mama, take care of that Glowing Wolf for me, will ya? Let's see here. What are you selling, Sassy Mama? Where is your vending machines? Could you please... What are these damn things? Look at these Mr. Fuzzy Rides. <laughs> Wow, I thought I had a good view. Well, that's weird. Look at that weird business going on there. Uh, where are your, um, no restroom. Where are your vending machines, sassy mama? What is going on down there? Where are the vending machines? This place is just, oh, can I go in? I can. I feel small, I guess, because I'm crouched. Okay, still no vending machines. These are interesting looking. Open, okay. Here we go, here's some vending machines with some balloons, nice. What do you got? What are you selling? Um, 
Well, nothing furious. And... Yeah. I'm just kind of looking for furious stuff. And I don't see it in this one. Go here. Um... Let's see... Plans... Nothing I'm interested in here. We'll go here. And... Yeah, some plans, but nothing I don't... Nothing I think I want. There's the a weapon that's being sold. And here is... Furious Grenade Launcher. Okay. Well, I don't want any of this stuff, and um, I am going to go here, and we're going to go here, and let's see here. Um, this person here, and we are going to mute this person. There we go. All right. Um, so, uh, wow, nine weapons. Did I see nine weapons? I don't think I did see nine weapons. Let's go down here to uh, Firebase Major, check it out, since we're in the neighborhood. Uh, why not? It is a long way down, man. Uh, so... What the... What the hell? Is this... Is Sassy Mama dead? What? Well, there's her paper bag of stuff. Did somebody just kill Sassy Mama? If somebody killed Sassy Mama, wouldn't somebody be wanted? It's Trust Me, I'm Jesus. The guy that I just bought that we that useful useless weapon from. Useless for me. What the hell? Sassy Mama died? Huh. Turns out I didn't have to mute her after all. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is very strange. All right. Oh, okay. This is all weird, man. Um, what's that down there? There's a structure down there. It's not on my map. I don't think I'm looking at Camp Venture. What is that? Oh, no game. Stop it. Go down here. See what this is. This is not Camp Venture. What is this? Can't believe I bought that weapon, man. I didn't know. I thought I could just put a... I mean, did you guys know before I bought it? Oh, gosh, there's something down here. Legendary something or other. It's a legendary enemy, man. Oh, another legendary. This is interesting. A couple legendary enemies here. Maybe I'll get something good. If I could... Vats on this mofo. A couple legendary... Glowing mole rat. Weightless raider right leg. Well, that's not very exciting. Weighs 90% less and does not count as armor for the chameleon mutation. Okay, I don't care about that. And... Vanguard. Well, this is boring stuff. Oh, well. Vanguard's trapper right arm grants up to 30%. Blah, blah, blah. The higher your health. Well, that was disappointing. I actually got excited there for a moment thinking, wow, I just killed two legendary enemies. Maybe I'm going to get a cool legendary something or other, but I didn't. So I wonder if legendary enemies spawn here frequently. And maybe that's why uh, Sassy Mama built their camp this close this place. I don't know. I don't know. Pretty interesting, I think. All right, I don't need to pick all this crap up, man. We're... What is... This is an interesting little spot here, though. A nice little oasis here. Um, you know, we could come and use the benches. Industrial size shortening. Why did I pick that up? I don't know. Loose screws... Okay, well, there you go. 
Just, um... Just a little, little place here. Taking your wind chimes. Or maybe I'm not. There we go. Aluminum scrap added. Man, <laughs> I killed two legendary animal or uh, enemies really easily, and uh, I didn't get anything worth a damn. Oh, I'll put it up for sale. Uh, a couple of things are showing up on my map now. Um, well, one of them is this. We've been here, firebase major and a fisher site. So we know probably what's going to happen here. Ouch! Is um, there's probably going to be a freaking scorch beast down here, but. If we've got a fire base on our side, Scorch Beast might not be that difficult. So let's go on down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Fisher. That's what I'm seeing on my compass there. So I know a lot of you guys uh, liked the episode when I went into Site Alpha because there was a lot of action. You know, this this episode's the opposite. <laughs> so you're probably not going to like this episode. Uh, although there's still there's still you know still a possibility for action down here at this place. This place called Firebase Major. It could happen. Can I see my camp from here? My camp is in that direction. Yeah, well, I don't don't think I see it. No, actually it's to the right of that tower, isn't it? Yeah, well, I was just curious if I could see my own camp. I mean I should be aiming right at it. I don't know how high up it is. Of course, there's a chance that it's just not drawn, you know, from this distance. So, oh well. Here is Firebase Major. Oh gosh, I did not do much damage to him at all. Oh jeez. Uh, I think it's because I wasn't um, sneaking. Let's see if I could lose him. We'll move down here. Couple of Meyer Lurk Kings there, level 50 Meyer Lurk Kings. Still says caution. Now I'm hidden again. Okay. So I should be able to get my uh, sneak bonus. Ooh, a legendary glowing Meyer Lurk. Another legendary enemy. Nope. God. I used my um, crit. Whoa, what the hell? What hit me? Doggone it, man. What? I just killed a legendary enemy, and I'm going to be upset if I don't find its body. Danger, it says. Glowing Mire Lark over there. Ouch. He's hitting me with his whatever ability he's got. Get out. Get out. You'll be alright, dude. Holy hell, that hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> okay. I want that legendary enemy, man. I don't know where its body is, though. I want it. This one's got to have something good on it, right? It was level 50. It's got to have something good on it. No idea where its body is. I don't even remember what it was. I'm not going to find its body. Firebase Major here. Here is uh, some power armor. I'm Ow! Press the wrong button! Ah. <sighs> All I wanted to do was transfer some stuff out of it. Get out. Thank goodness it didn't crap out on me. Okay, dude, I just want to transfer the fusion core. That's all I want. Okay. Are you the legendary enemy? Yes! <laughs> Unyielding marine armor left arm. I don't want armor, damn it. 
Uh, gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health, plus one strength, and something else. I oh, mean, I'm getting some lame stuff. But I'm getting some stuff, which is kind of neat, I guess. Increases size of sweet spot while picking locks. Oh, who cares? Guess what? Not me. Uh, okay, we can unlock this with our zero skills. Fusion core in there. So, um, I'm going to collect this. Try to anyway. Hello, collect. Okay, I collected it, and now I'm just going to drop it because I don't want it. But if I didn't do this, then it would go into my inventory automatically. So, power armor, chassis, drop. Okay, I have dropped it. What's going on here? We got, got a gas canister. Uh, su very surprisingly, no Scorch Beast flying about. Very surprising. Well, I tell you though, I'm I'm happy that I found the legendary enemy that I killed. I'm very happy that I found it, but I am disappointed in what it had to offer. I've killed three legendary enemies in this episode, and I didn't get anything that I wanted. Wah. Very sad. This episode is making me sad. First of all, I spent 4,500 caps on a weapon that I didn't even want. Glowing Mire Alert. Cranberry Bog Treasure Map number three. Interesting. Look at that. Does this place look familiar? That's pretty nondescript. Jeez. Looking east, there's a tree. And, the, I mean, I really wish I could use my cursor here so you could see what I'm pointing at. Uh, on the left side of that picture is a little house by some trees. Uh, so somewhere in Cranberry Bog, uh, there's a tree. But uh, I feel like I need uh, more to go off than that. Cranberry Bog. This is, I mean, are we in Cranberry Bog? I don't even know. How do you, how, how do you know where Cranberry Bog is? I wish there were like labels on this map. I mean, I think this area is called the forest. Maybe It'd be nice if it was labeled. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know which part of the map is Cranberry Bog. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and repair this thing uh, just in case some Scorch Beasts do come this way. I'm ready for them. There's a body here. Going to repair this one as well. It was nice that somebody built these little bridges here for us. That's nice. Repair this guy. Okay. Um... <laughs> little lawn chair there. So, if we keep walking in that direction, we're going to come across a fissure. But, looks like there's another, uh, in this direction is another fire base. See on my compass down there? Right in that direction is another fire base. And then in that direction, just to the right of the fissure, is a little tree. So somewhere out here is something natural. We got one of these things. Man, it's not doing anything. Am I... What's going on here? Um, let me look at my status effects. Apparently, I have parasites. When the hell did I get parasites? When did that happen? <laughs> I didn't even notice it. Oh, 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 oh. Quest started death from above. There's a nuke inbound. Check the map. Where's it going? Oh. I don't see it anywhere. It said to check the map. Where's it, where's it going? It could be coming right here and I wouldn't even know it. <laughs> Let's go to this firebase. Warning, Silas Fox has launched a nuke. It's going down here. That is a, a very common spot for nuke launchings. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Hmm. 
please exit the area uh -oh. at your earliest convenience. That is the fissure. Thank you for your cooperation. Crap. Well, there he is. Don't come over here. And here he comes. And I can't get out of this business here. Uh, there's also a building in this direction. Uh, which is Camp Venture. Okay, so I'm just real close to Camp Venture in this direction. There's also a, a farm out here somewhere. Maybe that's it. But we're going to go to this fire base because if this guy's going to follow me, uh, I could use the surface to air missiles at this fire base over here. We're getting close to it. Or it should be anyway. It looks like that uh, Scorch Beast has decided to move on. Okay, there we go. Um, a little bit of water here. Withered Feral Ghoul. That's not too exciting. I, uh, I do understand the excitement around legendary enemies now. For a long time, I didn't see what the big deal was, but uh, now I totally understand it, because you could end up getting a pretty freaking cool weapon, man. These are pretty low-level dudes out here, really. Level 15? I mean, come on. Alright, all this 0% stuff is getting on my nerves. Oh, it was 91% for a split second. Did you see that? A glowing Wendigo? God, I love this weapon. This weapon I am very pleased with. Yeah, I know I have a crit, but I don't need it. Something... I'm oh, just a... Petrified dude. Oh, oh. Firebase LT. Let me uh, repair these mofos just in case this guy decides to come over here and pay us a visit. Chinese office office sword. You know, I could be selling those things. Maybe I should be doing that. What's this noise? Oh, it's the nuke. Thought it was in this direction. Somewhere. Oh, geez. Here comes Scorch Beastie. What is that? Oh, body. Over there. Way over there. There we go. There it is. There she blows. She's a beaut. Why don't you go over there, Scorchy? You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Event Scorched Earth, defeat the Scorch Beast Queen that is terrorizing the Cranberry Bog. Again, I don't know if that's where I am or not. I don't know what this part of the map is called. Let's look around here a little bit. Get some gas canisters. Ooh, military ammo bag. Here's that Wendigo I killed. I don't want the missile launcher. Unless there's a bench. There's a bench right there. I could scrap it. Quest completed. Death from above. Why did I pick up that flask? I don't need that. Alright, let's go in here. Um, Campaign hat. Mini nuke. I don't need that. These things are heavy, man. Pistol. Rounds. Military ammo bag. Uh, some mines. Grenades. All kinds of goodies in here, man. Scrapping it all. Scrappity scrap. Huh. I had a, um, wood right arm. I don't even remember picking that up. Oh, and this thing. Let's, let's uh, scrap this. And I don't want this either. I learned something. Crafting item unlocked. Sleek. I unlocked sleek. 
Oh, hi. I'll take that stuff, thank you. Right away, I can. Pillow. Oh, no secrets. Is that new? That little icon there next to rest? It looks different. I don't remember it having that like half circle around it. Don't remember that. Uh, there's an ammo box here that if I want to get into it, I need to do this, and then I need to do this, and then I need to do this, and then I need to do this, and I need to do this, and then I need to do... Um... Unfortunately, these pick locks, you can't fill them up like this, so I have to put this one on here, and then I need to put this one on here. There we go. There. I can get into it now. And it's an ammo box, so hopefully there's some good stuff in here for us. A tricky one. Eh, a few things. Over here, there is a little toolbox. And now I need to go back here, and I need to go back here, and I need to go here, and then I need to go here. And I need to remove that, and remove that, and remove that, and then I need to put this back on. That's not inconvenient at all. What am I complaining about? One more quick scrap in here, since it's here. Don't think I picked up any other weapons, and I did not. Well, I'm going to hang out here. This looks like a pretty safe place to hang out. I'm going to end this episode. When we come back next time, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I mean, there's other things in the vicinity. There is a, a farm over there we could go visit. Over there is a tree. There's a fisher site over there that I kind of want to stay away from, but we'll be all right. Uh, over there is a building. That building is uh, also something that we don't know of. So there's still a ton of stuff out here to explore. So, um, yeah. Maybe more exploring. Um, I am concerned about my quests here. At some point, I need to pick these quests back up. And uh, I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm kind of itching to do that, so we maybe we'll do that, and then we'll come back here and do some exploring later. It's been a long time since we've done any quest stuff, so maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join me again in the next episode.